The new Canva Video 2.0 gives us a full video editor with all of the features and capabilities we've been hoping for for a long time, including an upgraded multi-track timeline, the ability to edit clips directly by trimming, splitting, and rearranging without having to switch back and forth between pages, enhanced tools like volume balancing, customizable animated text, AI voiceover, and more. In this video, we're taking a deep dive into the new Canva Video Editor and showing you all of the amazing things you can do with it, even if you're just a beginner. And with that, I'm handing it over to my most Canva knowledgeable team member who's basically a Canva video editing genius. Let's go. To get started with Canva's new video editor, start on Canva's homepage and select the video button here. This menu will give you different options for video sizes, and it will also give you some pre-made templates here at the bottom. Another option would be to go to the custom size button here and enter the preferred size that you need for your video. For this example, we're gonna use the Instagram reel size. Once you click that, it should bring you to a blank canvas where you can either add your own media or select from one of Canva's pre-made templates. The great thing about Canva's new update is Canva video has transformed from a page-based tool to a full video editor that gives you more flexibility and control. So you can edit like the pros without the professional editing software price tag. So before where you had to edit in a page based style, now you have this nice multi-track timeline where you can layer videos, audio, and graphics on separate tracks. Something to note here is these three different tracks. You have your main track here. This is the thick track in the timeline with this plus button. This is for all of your main videos, photos, and background clips. And the clips in this track will play one after the other with no gaps. You also have this upper track. This is what you'll use for layering text, graphics, and other visuals on top of your main video. And then at the bottom, you have the audio track. This is a separate track for the music, sound effects, and any voiceovers that you add. Something else that we'll be working with a lot here is this black line called the playhead. This is gonna be your best friend when you're using Canva's video editor, and I'll show you why in just a minute. So first let's get some media on our main track. I'm gonna start that either by clicking the plus sign here, where I can go to my uploads, stock videos, or stock photos. I can browse through Canva's photos, videos, or search for what I want, or I can go to my uploads and select any images or videos that are relevant for this project. For this example, I'm just gonna select some stock videos that we have in here from a brand shoot. I'm gonna start by just clicking on every video that I want, and it's gonna add it to this main track here. From there, if I wanna layer any media on top of my main track, instead of just clicking on the media, I need to actually click, hold, and drag it to the upper track in the timeline. As you can see here now, because we have a multi-track timeline, it will actually play a video on top of another video. I could add as many of these as I like by clicking and dragging them to the upper track. If I wanna continue layering them on top of each other, I can do that like this. So before we get these clips edited how we want them, let's also add some text and elements, personalize this reel even more. I can add text by either clicking the T button and editing my text from there, or I can go to the text button in the left-hand side and select a text for my brand kit. I can change the color, I can add an effect, and I can add an animation to it. For now, let's just select this typewriter animation, maybe slow it down just a little bit and keep it on the entrance. As you can see here at the bottom, it added the text to the timeline on top of all of my clips. Next, I'm gonna come here to my brand kit. And from here, I can select a logo that's already preloaded into my brand kit. This is so helpful for streamlining my projects to make sure everything is cohesive and on brand. Just note that this is a pro feature. And if you're interested in giving Canva Pro a try, not only try the brand kit, but there are many other amazing features. We have a link in the description box below that will give you a 30 day free trial so you can see what it's all about. So to add my logo, instead of just clicking it, because that's going to add a whole new clip to my main track, I'm going to click it and go ahead and place it on there. From there, I can resize it and move it to where I want it. Now that we have all of our media, text, and elements placed onto our timeline, let's get into the direct clip editing. Canva has now built in many amazing tools that you would normally find in a professional editing software, such as trim, split, and the ability to arrange clips around on the timeline freely. Instead of having a trim tool, the trim tool has been removed. You can now trim clips directly in your timeline. Let's say I want it here at exactly 12 seconds. And now as I hover over the clip, I can see a little arrow appear here with a line there under the arrow that gives me the option to increase or decrease the length of the clip. So I'm gonna pull this in and slide it right here to where my playhead is, and it should snap right in with that line. You can also click on one of your layered videos and drag them around on the timeline wherever you like them. So let's say I want that to start somewhere towards the beginning, and then I can also hover over that one and move it in to where I want it. Now it's a little hard to see when you're just watching, when you test this out on your own device, you should be able to tell that it snaps right there in place and lines up with that clip below it. Or if I wanted it to snap in place with the playhead, I can drag it and do that as well. So now you can see that that video plays over the one beneath it. And let's also say that I want my text to stretch out across the whole reel. I can hover over it 
to where those arrows pop up and drag it across the entire reel. I'm gonna do the same for the logo because I want that to be present throughout the whole video as well. Now I can hit the play button there and go ahead and see that coming together where my text is across the screen, the videos are layered and playing on top of each other, and my logo is present throughout. So remember how I said that the playhead is now your new best friend to get exact timing with your clips and elements. So I'm gonna show you how it can be used with the split tool. First, I'm gonna click on the piece of media that I wanna split, and I'm gonna move the playhead exactly where I want it because I wanna split this video right down there in the middle at nine seconds. So I can either click the S on my keyboard to immediately split it there, or I can select this button here at the top that says split. Now you can see that my video is split here into two separate clips that I can drag and move around or delete. And if you find yourself having trouble seeing what you're doing, you can always extend this up and down as you add more media, that'll get really helpful. Or you can come down here at the bottom where you see this slider bar here. Typically this zooms your project in and out, but you can also toggle with this button here. Right now it's on zoom page, so it affects the canvas, but I can also toggle this button over to zoom thumbnails, and that's gonna zoom you into your timeline so you can see everything nice and clear. This also becomes really helpful when you have audio. So let's go ahead and see some audio so you can see this really come to life. I'm gonna click on the add audio button, and from here I can either select a track that Canva has in their library, I can record a voiceover, or I can generate an AI voice. I'm just gonna add this instrumental to my video here. Now that we've got that audio added, I'd also like to add a sound effect on my timeline. So I'm gonna drag the playhead here where I want the sound effect to play when this clip pops up on the screen. And let's look up a whoosh sound effect. Let's just go with this one here at the top. Keep in mind, this is a pro feature, but there are some free sounds as well. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and that should add it to my timeline right there where the playhead is. You can see it there at the bottom. And if I decide I don't want it here and I want it somewhere else, I can either right click on it and duplicate to add a sound effect somewhere else, or I can simply just drag around the one that's already there. Okay, so now that we've got that audio added, now when I zoom in here at the bottom, you can see the wavelengths really well, and that allows everything to be a lot easier to see too. So let's go ahead and trim my audio down and just let it snap into place there with that final video. Let's trim this clip down, my text and the logo. Let's move this down so you can see up at the top. And now we've got a fully built out reel that looks professional and can be uploaded online. So let's say that I watch it and I decide I actually wanna add a little bit more text. I'm gonna adjust this text here and move my playhead where I want it because I wanna add a little bit of text at the end to be a call to action for my audience to download a free guide. So I've moved that text up so it does doesn't play there at the end of the video, but I'm gonna leave my playhead there and press the T on my keyboard to add some more text to my timeline. So from here, I can go ahead and select my text and change the font to what I like it to be. I'm just gonna change it to say comment guide or my free guide. I can stretch this out, adjust it to how I like, and I can even add a background effect if I'd like to make sure that it's nice and readable. And now I'm gonna size this down to make sure that it snaps in place and lines up with the rest of my video. And there we go, I have a nice call to action there at the end to prompt people to sign up for my free guide. And just a little pro tip here, adding a call to action like this is a great way to grow your audience and build your email list by using something like a freebie or a lead magnet. This could be a PDF, a checklist, a template, swipe files, whatever is relevant for your business. And if you need some ideas, on what lead magnet is best for you. We actually have a free list of 38 lead magnets that you can download today. There are so many great ideas out there and this list is sure to get your creative juices flowing and help you start building your email list today. So if you're interested in grabbing that list, we have a link in the description box below where you can download that totally for free. Something else I wanna know is that you can add transitions on your timeline very easily by hovering between two clips like this. Recently, people have had a little bit of trouble finding this transition button. So if you're having some trouble seeing it appear, you can also make sure that you're toggled onto zoom thumbnails and zoom into your timeline. And that'll just create a little bit more space there where hopefully that button will show up. So if you'd like to add a transition, you can click on add transition there. There's also a plus sign if you wanna add media there. But for this example, we're adding a transition. Once I click that, I can select through the different transitions that I'd like to use in my video. Another important thing that Canva has changed is that they've removed the duration mode that was originally part of their previous video editor. This is because it's built into the timeline with the ability to adjust and slide the videos right within the multi-track timeline. However, However, if you're on a project that's not video related, such as a PowerPoint presentation, you can do this by clicking on the element that you wanna adjust the timing for, clicking the three dots in the menu that appears and clicking on show element timing in the dropdown menu. From there, you can adjust the timing of the element right there at the bottom of the screen. Once you've previewed your video with the play button and you're happy with how it's looking, you can come up here to the share button to download it. Just click share and then download. And from here, Canva will automatically set it to an MP4 video file. And if you have Canva Pro, you can adjust 
adjust the quality all the way up to 4K, but 1080p on a free plan is still very high quality, and from there you can download. At the time of this filming, Canva has noted that if you prefer the previous video editing experience, you can actually switch back at any time. You can do this by going to the home page and clicking down here at the bottom left hand corner on your profile image, clicking on settings, and under your personal account and under your profile, you can scroll down to the bottom and under video editing, you should see where it says use new multi-track video editor and a button that you can toggle on and off. Right now I have it checked on, but if you want to go back to the previous video editor because you prefer it, you can just toggle this off and it should take you right back to that editor. Canva has also made the recommendation that if you like the previous video editor, you can still access that editor's features in your older designs and those can be duplicated and edited with the previous video editor if you wish. Next, I want to show you Canva's new AI video editor called Magic Video. It's currently only available on mobile, but it's perfect for entrepreneurs and content creators who want to create professional looking reels without the hassle of manually creating them. So when you pull up your Canva mobile app, you should see it there right on the homepage. So let's click on Magic Video. And from there, you'll see the videos pull up either in your camera roll, or you can select from uploads. You can select from a folder or your videos and photos. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to select from my videos from my camera roll. And I'm just going to select a few of these stock videos here to create a reel. So select as many videos as you like, up to 20. And then at the bottom here, you can select Style. Within the style options, you have nostalgic, cinematic, minimal, upbeat, chill, motivational, bold, and playful. I'm gonna select motivational. And in the type options, you have beat driven, montage, video diary, narrative, photo dump, and collage. I'm gonna select montage. And from here, you can enter a prompt that works for your video. I'm gonna say something like, create a motivational reel for Instagram that uses clips from my brand shoot. And then I'm gonna click on the purple arrow for Canva's AI system to create my reel. It's gonna start working right away and have it up within seconds. Very quickly, I can view the video that Canva created for me. They'll add some music, maybe some text. It all depends on what style and type that you selected. If you don't like what they created, or maybe you wanna move the clips around, you can select on the little arrows here to switch around the media, or you can scroll down and try a different vibe. They have different templates here that you can select from to fit your style. You can also reselect the style and type that you like. And from there, you can select another template and create a whole new video. So now Magic Video has created a whole new reel for me, but maybe I wanna edit the text. I can come down here and go to editor, or I can go ahead and download if I like the way it looks. If I click on editor, it's gonna bring me into the Canva editing page. And from there, I can adjust things on the timeline just like I would on a desktop. I can edit things like the text, the transitions, the audio, whatever fits my style. And once I'm happy with it, I can go to the top right hand corner to download my video. Again, it's gonna go ahead and set it to an MP4 file, and I can adjust the quality if needed if I have a pro account. Don't forget to check the description box below if you wanna give Canva Pro a try. We have a link there for a free 30-day pro trial. So there you have the brand new Canva editor, Canva Video 2.0. Don't forget to click that link in the description box below to grab your free Canva Pro trial link for 30 days if you'd like to try out all of the different Canva Pro features. And also click the link below to grab your free list of 38 different lead magnet ideas to grow your business. Talks Good friend.